up guys, Javier from That Racing Channel. In case you missed last episode, we're giving away our world record eight second all wheel drive RSX. On low boost, this car makes 600 horsepower and on high boost, it makes 1000 horsepower. On this episode, we're gonna show you the ins and outs of the build. We're gonna give you the full breakdown. We're gonna show you what makes this car tick. And we're gonna go out and make some pulls. And don't forget, every dollar you spend on our website gets you one entry for a chance to win this RSX. Go to thatracingchannel.com to enter now. Let's get into it. All right guys, so before we get into it, we have a special announcement. So the way the car sits now, it's on a 15 inch wheel with M&H Racemaster tires. These are 245, 55, 15s all around. So this is a pretty aggressive setup. However, for the guys that like more of a street setup, the winner of this car will also be getting a set of the street wheels and tires that were originally on this car, the gold RPF ones with Toyo tires on it. So let's give you a full walk around of the car here. So the car's on coilovers, tried to get a, an aggressive stance setup but that doesn't rub, that's performing for the street, it performs for the track. We got the wingless setup. Also the new owner of the car, the person that wins this car, will also get the factory wing with it. Like most of our TRC builds, we try to go after a very clean looking street car with a lot of horsepower. All right guys, so here we have it. This is honestly one of my favorite engine bays I've ever done. It's such a badass setup. So we have a full long block built by Jay Meager from Real Street Performance. So it's a 2.2 liter D-stroker that can rev upwards of 10,000 RPM. It's a fully done up head with drag cartel 3.2 cams. We got a 6875 precision turbo. It's a dual ball bearing, gen two. We can push probably upwards of north of 40 pounds of boost on this setup here. Got a Gato intake manifold. And we got quite a bit going on down here. So like you guys saw in the full build process, it takes it took a lot of minds to get together to get all the stuff that we fit all in this area here. So we have basically the biggest intercooler we could fit here, right? But it's still retaining AC, power steering, all the all the amenities, all the good stuff that you want in a street car. So there's a lot of stuff that went into actually making all of that fit and the car doesn't overheat, the car performs really, really well. We made this custom air intake here that goes straight to the turbo right from the headlight. We've got a filter on this end of it here. You can see that there. So we got a, an eight injector setup here. So we got ID 2600 injectors and then also ID 1700 injectors. So one of my favorite things about this car right here, it's on a Motec standalone. This is pretty much the baddest thing you can put on a Honda at the moment. And shout out to Gringo Tune Rob, the tuner on this car. So we'll give you a shot of the interior here. So try to keep it super clean. We still have a little bit of TLC stuff to do uh, before the new owner takes the car. Obviously we have here the AC vent here that used to be a, a I think an air fuel gauge there. We already ordered a, a factory vent here, so we're gonna replace that, get it looking nice and fresh. Got the Quaif sequential shifter there. Another one of my favorite upgrades, we recently upgraded the factory seats to the Braum seats here. Carbon back to the seats there, love that touch. Of course, we have to have full interior back here. Got a little nitrous bottle just in case uh, any bikes roll up on us on the highway. So here we have some time slips for the car. Basically the R&D, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so we got the first 10 second pass here. First nine second pass, first eight second pass, and then we have our 860 pass here right before the world record. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the world record slip on this one, boys. But these will come with the car. Haltech dash is super sweet. Got the connection for it here. So you can plug this into your laptop, you can change all sorts of information on there. We also retained factory e-brake. Some of the guys, when they do this conversion, uh, it's kind of a bitch, honestly, to, to keep the e-brake. Some of the guys just get rid of it, but we decided to take it to the next level and just keep everything, retain everything as factory as possible. Here we have our, our fun switch, as I call it. So let's go ahead and start it up. And 
And my favorite thing about this car, that sweet, sweet, ice cold AC. Nothing beats that. So much attention to detail we put to this build. And one of my absolute favorite things about this car is everything we've done to the drivetrain. So this thing is drive shaft shop axles. It's got wagon diff, wagon viscous, all the billet goodies from Drag Cartel. It's got the bell housing, the transfer case, pretty much everything that you could possibly do to a Honda to make the drivetrain as bulletproof as possible is done to this car. One of my most favorite things about this car is the fuel system. So it's got a brushless air motive pump. This thing's badass. It's good for something like 13 or 1400 horsepower on this setup. My favorite part, it's got the stock location for the fill. So go to the gas station, fill it up normal. You don't have to pop the trunk and you know have fuel falling on in here. And there's, there's no smell that goes into the cabin, which is freaking awesome. So this thing is pretty much as badass as it gets when it comes to a, a, a fuel fuel system setup. So another really cool thing that I love is a lot of times you see somebody having a race dash but the fuel uh, gauge doesn't work on the dash. So we got the sending unit and it was a bitch to set it up. But we got it all dialed in and the fuel gauge works properly. All right guys, so we're gonna take you for a spin in the all-wheel drive RSX. You ready bro? I'm ready man. I'm excited. Let's do it. So we're gonna try a, diff a few different boost settings today. So right now we have it on 12 o'clock here. So you can see here at the 12 o'clock setting, that's probably like 580 to 600 right there. And then when you go to uh, about the two setting there, that should be like 720 horsepower. And then you say you go to like the four, you know, that's probably 800 horsepower. Then you go to setting six and that's probably like 900 plus. And then the seven, anything from seven to 11, right? Anything set there, that's the, that's the NASA tune. <laughs> so that's going to be send it mode, full blown send it mode. So we'll try a couple different boost settings, show you guys uh, operation of the sequential. The, this has a comp triple disc clutch. So it, I mean, th these clutches are awesome. It's like one of the best I've ever driven. It drives like a factory car. Uh, so it's not super aggressive or a race car. It's very streetable. We got the AC cranking. Oh yeah. It's so cool. Make a little pull on low boost. Start her off with a party here. sad to see this to see this happen to see it go but I'm even more excited to have somebody in the TRC community somebody that has appreciated our stuff appreciated our channel we always try to do quality builds we don't we, we take a while to build them sometimes but quality is the key this is our first giveaway and I wanted to just come out with a bang right do something that's super special not just any car we could have gone and picked up a car in marketplace or something but you know there's nothing wrong with that right given giving away cars period is is such a cool thing that people are doing for the community, right? Changing people's lives and stuff. But this is a special car. Oh yeah. Well, cool spirited driving there. So this is on a Quave five-speed sequential. So basically, the operation is put clutch in. You go up in gear, right? You go up on the lever. And that, that down shifts, that goes down in gear, right? And so now it's in first gear, right? And we'll take off like normal with the clutch. And for normal, like daily driving, you can just clutch it, second gear. So you pull down to go up in gears. So you got second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Just like a manual street car. Fifth crazy. gear. Yep, it's super easy to operate once you get it down. And then we'll, uh, when under, wide open throttle, you don't use the clutch. You can if you want, but obviously that's that's not the magic of the sequential. It'll stay in boost. Your foot's to the, your right foot is to the ground and you're just throwing back on the shifter. So we'll do another pull. We'll actually turn it up to that 720 setting on, on just setting two. Nice. Yeah. That never gets old. Man. That felt spicy. 
from the first gear, man. Holy Ooh. crap. <laughs> so that was like the 800 wheel horsepower setting. This is, this is the, the best of all worlds because it, it has the knob. So I'd leave this thing on 600, just take this thing on a Sunday cruise. I mean, this thing at 600 horsepower, this thing's built for, I mean, this engine's same guys run, you know, 1100 horsepower on an engine like this. It's overbuilt, let's say. So, I mean, this thing, I'd make blasts all day at 600. And then if you have that, that GSXR or like the boost that pulls up next to you, you give it a couple clicks, you know? Twin turbo 50 rolls up. Oh, yeah. Give it a couple more clicks, you know? Usually cruising temps don't go. The temps usually like to live between that 180 to 190 range, so it's it's uh, super super happy. We added a second cooler under the car that sits in the back of the car, um, and ever since we did that, it's absolutely loving life. Just cruising around. It could be a hot day, hot Florida day. It's 100 degrees out today, and we're chilling at 189 degree temps right now. So. That's with the AC on. <laughs> so we got stuck in some pretty heavy traffic here, but we're chilling at 190. <laughs> Streetcar. Streetcar, baby.